All right, the microphone is back online. So what I'm saying is we should have an investment conference. Hello, everyone. I've always been interested. I've always been interested in Ethereum. I might have been the, the first person in China to take an interest in Ethereum. There's a problem with the microphone. I can't hear very clearly. Let's see if he changes the microphone. So in June, when the people of Ethereum were were preparing a hard fork. I felt heartbroken. And I told Vitalik that we, uh, during a conference, I forget which one, but I, I told him squarely that we oppose a hard fork. Because I often tell people what makes the blockchain so great is that it's an invisible ledger. So now I must say, So as a result of this, I cannot no longer support ETH. So we are in the age of post-Bitcoin, that's what the slide says. When Bitcoin came out, the selling point was that it was a peer-to-peer -peer currency. What Bitcoin solves is currency, not other problems. But there were many people that wanted to apply the blockchain So someone created, I think it's BitShares. And then Ethereum said, I wanted to create smart contracts. I wanted to create a platform. And also NXT. So in reality, what I feel right now is, Ethereum. Many people are wrong, I'm afraid.
You see, the problem is the, the currency community did not really like Ethereum, but the blockchain community liked Ethereum. But right now, Ethereum Classic is a great opportunity. So now we have gotten into an, a post-Ethereum era. So there are a certain party of people who are highly pessimistic. Those that are quitters, those are the losers. So I'm continuing the translation. The third group are those that are the fans of immutability. The fourth group are those who stand on the shoulder of giants. So the first and second group I disapprove of, but the third and fourth group I approve of. So now I will speak of the struggles currently facing ETC. One problem is, one problem is, all of the people who hold ETH also hold ETC. The problem with the DAO. The problem is, we, we, d we, we created We focus too much on smart contracts without a value proposition. If Ethereum Classic also makes the same mistake as, as Ethereum Core, then they will also fail. The problem is that there are a lot of enemies of ETC that hold ETC because as a result of the fork, all of the people that used to hold ETH also hold ETC. What we need now is to, is to change our structure. What we need is to change the fundamental structure and organization of our community. You see? Our, communi our community is small. Our computational resources are small. And currently we are directionless. Currently, we don't have a name.
So I propose two names for the two branches of Ethereum. One I will call classic blocks, the other I will call hard fork blocks. You see, for, for classic blocks, we embody decentralization, we oppose interference, we have maintained immutability, and also we have high fidelity as a result. Those that have not jumped on the bandwagon of Ethereum can now jump on the bandwagon of Ethereum Classic. This is a new beginning for us. Those that missed the opportunity of buying Ethereum can now become early adopters of Ethereum Classic. Those without opportunities now gain opportunities. But you see, Bitcoin use is decreasing, I think that's what he's saying.